We are back in developing tonight. Republicans are now looking at measures to force the testimony of the woman at the center of the IRS targeting scandal. Lois Lerner appeared again today before a House committee investigating the harassment of conservative groups in the run-up to the 2012 elections. The last time she appeared, she refused to answer the committee's questions. Today, same story. I will decline to answer any question on the subject matter of this hearing. On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right. I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right. I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Yeah, you get the point, right? So, but this time the room erupted when Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings objected to Republican Chairman Daryl Issa adjourning the hearing. It got worse when Chairman Issa, give it this sign, cut off the microphones. Watch this. Seeking uh, the truth is the obligation of this committee. I have no expectation that Ms. Lerner will cooperate with this committee, and therefore we Chairman, 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 I have a statement. I have a procedural question, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I have a procedural question. We've adjourned. Mr. Chairman, you cannot run a committee like this. You just cannot do this. This is, we're better than that as a country. We're better than that as a committee. May I ask my question? May you, I state my statement? You're, you're all free to leave. We've adjourned, but the gentleman may ask his question. What is your question? Let, I'm, I'm going, no, let me say what I have to say. I've listened to you for the last 15 or 20 minutes. Let me say what I have to say. Chairman, I have one procedural Ms. question. Ms. Lerner, you're, you're, you're released. You may. But first, I would like to use my time to make some brief points. For the past year, the central Republican accusation in this investigation, we're adjourned. Close it down. collusion directed by on behalf of the White House. Before our Thank you. Where is your question? But I, if you will sit down and allow me to ask the question, I am a member of the Congress of the United States of America. I am tired of this. I gave you an opportunity to ask a question. You have a question. I do have a question. I gave you an opportunity. Chairman, what are you hiding? Hot in there today, right? Republican South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy is a member of the committee that was holding that hearing, and he joins me now. Congressman, good evening. Good to have you yes, here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Thank you. You, you know, I, I want to get to that scene that we just watched in just a moment. But first of all, this morning, we were covering this uh, on our morning program, America's Newsroom, and we didn't know whether or not she was going to actually testify. It was right up to the wire. I mean, why did you folks believe that she might actually come in there and answer your questions? Well, because her attorney told her, told us she would. Uh, we so believed what changed? all through. Uh, well, the only thing I can tell you is what he said that he doesn't like what Daryl Issa and I said over the weekend about his client. So he decided that, that she wasn't going to answer our questions. And Martha, I don't know what he thought we were going to ask. It never was going to be a comfortable interview. I'm not going to ask her what her favorite color is. I'm I was going to ask her tough questions all along. So I don't know what he thought changed, but that's the explanation we were given, that she changed her mind because she didn't like what Daryl and I said over the weekend. All right, so Congressman Elijah Cummings was obviously very upset. You saw that exchange there. You were part of, you are in the room. Uh, now what he wants, he says, oh, we want to get to the bottom of this. And that caused a lot of folks to say, you know, well, let, let him speak. Let, let's hear what he wants to say. Maybe he would even encourage Lois Lerner to actually allow all of you guys to get to the bottom of this, all of you on the committee. But what he wanted was for her to get immunity, right? And then she could make her statement. And that is something that you are, were not having. Well, I don't want to be hyper-technical or hyper-legalese, but he wanted her to proffer what she was going to say, which is not technically immunity. It's just you go ahead and tell your story. Nothing you say is going to be used against you. Immunity is you're not going to be prosecuted no matter what you say. That was never going to happen. Elijah says he wanted her to proffer the information. If he says that, I take him at his word. But, but the reality is she had five opportunities to explain not what other people had done or said, but her own emails, and she invoked all five times, so that hearing wasn't going anywhere. Right. So she, she has said in emails, the Tea Party matter is very dangerous. Uh, there's a, a number of elements, which we've gone over a lot, that, that show that there could be a connection to Washington based in this program to, to make sure these conservative groups did not get their status. So what now? Because John Boehner came out today and said, you know, we'll place her in contempt and force her to testify if it comes to that. Is that going to happen? 
Well, you can't make someone talk um, unless you want to get Jack Bauer out of retirement. Uh, the most you can do is give them, give them an incentive to talk, or you can punish them for not talking, and that's contempt. But, but make no mistake, we can't make her tell us what she knows. We can just punish her if she doesn't, and that's where I would like to see us go. She, she waived her Fifth Amendment privilege, Martha. If you remember back to May, she made 17 separate factual assertions. That's a lot of talking for somebody who wants to remain silent. All right, so she waived. Either she talks and, and will negotiate a resolution with her, or she doesn't, and we hold her in contempt of Congress. Well, it sounds like we're never going to hear from her because Daryl Issa suggested as much uh, today in his comments, and her attorney said we're never going to hear uh, her yeah, side of Martha, the story. Yeah, Martha, I, go. I did this for 16 years. Trust me, we can get her to talk. Oh, very interesting. We'll leave it at that. Uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Trey Gowdy, thank you very much. Yes, ma'am.